I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet it. It's like Jams Podcast Studio. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. It's huge. So, we are sitting here at Acquia's headquarters. Is this, how many days have you been working here so far? I would have to break it down three ways. So I've been here for a year with three different departments. So I started as a UX intern, user experience, um, with the engineering team. So that was for the summer. And then, no, actually, you know, extended summer. And then from there, I was like, you know what? And I kind of backtrack. I was a front end developer. Um, I teach fitness on the side. And I was kind of looking for a change. Um, thinking I was going to do fitness. And then I worked at a company uh, for front end development because I wanted to get back into it, who's focused on UX. So then I got connected to the UX team here. And then I thought, all right, well, what's next? Maybe I'll try something else. And then I met Amy. Parker, and she kind of convinced me to sign up for Aquia U, and I got in, so I was in Aquia U, and then I was kind of like, all right, well, let's see what's next, and then I kind of found a role within marketing, which was not really part of the curriculum, but I you know, developed an interest in them, and so right now I'm at Aquia as a digital marketer. Wow, so I think we can draw two conclusions from this. <laughs> the first conclusion we can draw is that you have trouble making up your mind. Yes. <laughs> and the second conclusion we can draw is that three departments in a year at Acquia, Acquia is a gold mine of opportunities uh, yep. for people who want to try stuff out. Oh, right? definitely. And you see that a lot here. You see a lot of people who learn. And it's not that I didn't learn much from the UX or with AquaU. I mean, all of that experience has really helped me with my current role in marketing, which is focusing on conversion for AquaU.com. So having the user experience and, you know, the Drupal skill set to be able to use, you know, certain products on AquaU.com has really helped. So it, it, in the end, actually, surprisingly, all tied in together. Introduce yourself. Yes. And tell us something non drupal about your about you. All right. My name is Doris Wong. And the non drupal thing about me is that I currently teach a dance fitness class called Bali X. It's a Bollywood-inspired dance fitness program. So for those of you who've taken other dance fitness programs, this one introduces the mainstream folks to the world of Bollywood in a fitness format. It's a lot of fun. Wow, that's kind of that's a cool non drupal thing. Yeah. Um, you had this odd path into Acquia U where did. you had already touched Acquia. Yes. Right? But before you came to Acquia, had you heard of Drupal? No. And how did you find out about that UX internship uh, that you that you that you applied for? So this is where the power networking comes in. And so at my internship um, it was an internship um, doing front-end development. It was more email marketing, but the company was involved with uh, UX consulting or research. And the former director of UX at Acquia, uh, she had previously worked at that company. And so um, the company was probably the size of maybe 10 folks. So it was a really small company, very uh, personal and intimate. And so, you know, I've developed a relationship with the CEO. And so the CEO and the director, former director of um, UX here were good friends. And um, upon my exit, you know, I expressed interest in developing a career in UX. And so um, during that time, um, the director was looking for an intern and hence made the connection mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Definitely network. <laughs> network. What were your expectations going into Acquia U? Um, that's an interesting question. I 
don't think I had a lot of expectations. I feel that in my experience, I think having expectations going into anything new because it is a new program, um, I, I wanted to have a clear head going in um, as to not have it affect my experience in the program. So I, I was going in knowing that, you know, this was kind of the rebirth of the program since there was kind of a gap between the first program and this. Um, and so I knew there was, it was going to be um, kind of like, so to speak, like a pilot. So there were going to be, there probably was going to be some hiccups and I knew that, you know, I would kind of have to um, kind of go with it and run with it. And so um, just kind of having an open mind kind of really helped me. What did you want to get out of it? What did I want to get out of it? Um, a sense of, um, hmm, let me think about that. I, I think just kind of getting a better understanding of where I am in terms of my career and skills. Um, it kind of helped me um, understand who I was and what I'm capable of. And because Jubal was new, you know, I was kind of coming, you know, from scratch, new, you know, didn't know anything. And so it really kind of helped me figure out, all right, this is what I can do. This is what I'm capable of. What's next? All right. And how was it? It was challenging. It was really challenging because it was a little bit more fast paced. There were some folks within the program that had Drupal experience, some who had built sites on their own. Um, I think for me, having that front end development experience really helped. So, you know, knowing a little bit, you know, at least a general understanding of PHP, I knew the front end stuff like CSS, HTML kind of helped. But then I think it was more of the site building component and just understanding how it worked together. That was the most challenging aspect of it. Um, but that was just the beginning. And, you know, as you keep getting engrossed to it, it just got a lot easier. Run us through a day at Acquia U. Ooh, there's no typical day. <laughs> but I can say that um, as you're going through the program, you would come in, usually the first half would be lecture, um, you know, going over reviews. And it's also dependent on where we are, you know, if you feel comfortable kind of passing a, a subject, if we're familiar, we can move on to the next. Um, and then the second half of the day could be more of a, a project. Um, that we're working on, or if we wanted to do more learning, you know, there was some flexibility in the schedule. And that was a great thing about the program. There's a lot of flexibility during the day. You know, we'll have a set schedule, but depending on what we wanted to do, the instructor was really great in allowing us to decide, all right, I think we want to focus on this today versus that. So what's the most important thing you got out of going through Acquia U? Um, well, definitely uh, working with the team. Uh, and learning more about the Aquia culture, and that's the one thing that's really good about this program is because, you know, you're not just sitting in a random uh, office or something that's, you're just learning something, but you're actually engrossed in the culture, so you get an understanding for what it's like working here and working with the people around you. What's one piece of advice that you'd give for people looking for a new career? Um, one piece of advice is that, and this may sound interesting, but you need to be dedicated. Um, it's not easy making the transition, and you know if you're serious about making a career change, and you want to be devoted to it and do everything you can to get better at it, because you know you can just go in and say, yeah, you know what, maybe I'll just try this and not do anything about it, and you know you're not getting much value. So you have to have dedication. Would you recommend Aquia U to others? Yes. Yes. And, you know, not only are you learning a lot from, you know, from the instructors, you're also learning from your peers because we have folks that are coming from different careers. And I feel that anything that you learn, you can always translate that in, your, in whatever career you end up choosing afterwards. Um, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs>